the name Zion Williamson came up. Because apparently he's about to be a daddy. About to be a dad. He's about to be a dad. No wonder you ain't healthy. I'm talking about your legs. We need those legs spry. He's a man child. But you can't get healthy. Your lower extremity. So right now, NBA superstar Zion Williamson is getting slammed in the media. And it's a double standard. It's definitely a double standard. Especially when we're talking about the world of sports entertainment and athletes in general. There's been a lot of athletes that have dated women with questionable past and questionable means of employment. But the one thing that all of these women have had in common is that they were all so-called white women. And so somehow the internet, whoever that is, and whatever that entails, the internet is clowning Zion for having a child with the so-called black woman. And on top of that, Zion being the young man that he is, he had a side piece. He had a mistress who's allegedly a so-called corn star. And she's in the corn industry, or at least she used to be. And so she's another so-called black woman that he's, he allegedly was involved with. And so people are trying to clown Zion and they're coming after him. But they don't clown these other players for getting in relationships with a Kardashian. And so what are they trying to say? What exactly are they trying to say? That it's acceptable to date these kind of women and to have relationships with these kind of women and to even have babies with these kind of women as long as they're so-called white women. And as a matter of fact, Nine times out of ten, they'll promote it. They'll give you a reality show. You'll be able to parlay that to another side hustle. And so we fast forward to our brother Zion Williamson, who's been pretty low-key for the most part. You know, he's somebody who stays injured a lot. You know, he's actually a great athlete, but he's also somebody who stays injured quite a bit. And before he even got to the league, just based on his body type and his godlike athletic ability, this is somebody that I knew wouldn't hold up. His body wouldn't hold up. Somebody that big, that jumps that high, that's not something that was sustainable. Zion Williamson was somebody that when he dunks a basketball, or at least previously when he dunked a basketball, he didn't know how to properly land. There's a technique and there's an art to landing. But as it stands now, I'm not sure that somebody like Zion is gonna be able to correct that. You know, old habits are hard to break. So like I said earlier, this is somebody who stays injured a lot. And he's been pretty low key while he's been injured. This is not somebody that is in and out of trouble. This is somebody that uh, for the most part keeps his head down and goes about his business. But the moment, the moment it's revealed that he's bringing a child into this world with a so-called black woman, the media and the internet, they're all up in arms with this fake outrage. Like, what is he doing? You know, what's going on? But you know what? Had it been Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, one of the Kardashians, had it been one of those, it would have been a completely different story and it would have been a completely different narrative. Or had it been a random white woman, it would have been a completely different narrative. So I guess the woman that he's having a baby with is an Instagram girl. She's an Instagram model or whatever the case may be. And for the most part, I guess that's what a lot of these athletes and a lot of these NBA players are choosing from. That a lot of these players just get on their phones and swipe left, swipe right or whatever the case may be. And boom, that's the date for the night or that's the hookup for the night. And so I think it's unfortunate that Zion's being singled out and called out for doing the exact same thing that 90% of these other players do. They don't do anything differently. The only thing they do differently is choose white women. And I'm not saying Zion didn't do that in the past as well. I'm sure he did. He went to Duke. But the fact that he chose or that he's set to have a child with a so-called black woman, somehow the internet is in a frenzy over that. You know, sometimes we got to put our thinking hats on. You know, what's the real problem here? Let's get to the nitty gritty. What's the real problem with Zion Williamson bringing a child into this world with a so-called black woman? Because like I said throughout this entire video, he's doing the exact same thing that the rest of the players in the league are doing. The only difference now is that some of those NBA checks, some of those game checks are gonna be going to a so-called black woman and 
a so-called black baby. That's the only difference. And I think having a child, bringing a child into this world, could be a good thing for somebody like Zion Williamson, somebody who is still seems fairly young-minded. And I'm not saying he has maturity problems, but having a child and bringing a child into this world for a man, I can't speak from a woman's point of view, but from a man's point of view, it does something. It changes your perspective on life and it makes you think about what's really important. And so I think having this child would be a good thing for Zion Williamson, or at least it can be a good thing for him if he allows it to be. And so that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys go ahead and chime in on the comment section. And as usual, peace and chaos.